And this video is crazy by this guy, DB Crypto, and he's kind of exposing Solana. Now, a lot of this stuff isn't that new that he's actually brought up, but he's the first one to kind of put it. You kind of can see uh, the way he's talking about it, and he's putting up articles, uh, Solana critiques, lies and frauds, and dangerous trade-offs. Uh, he talks about a lot of the stuff that we we have actually known, and I would say the people that are in crypto know, like the TPS, we know that. Solana's kind of been faking it, kind of fake it till you make it. A lot of the data that they put out there, number of users, a lot of that stuff. But something else happened today that he actually didn't cover. Um, are the people, are the people that run Solana themselves frauds? Are they? I mean, that's something to look into, right? A lot of people ignore it, but also is exposing Solana, does it really mean anything? Does it really mean it's a scam or scam I got lucky? Like these are things that we really have to look over because I think at the end of the day, Solana is probably going to do pretty well, even with all of this stuff being exposed. Is exposing it make a difference? Like look at Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast has been exposed, but he's gained 3 million subscribers since he was exposed. Look at this good chap right here, Paul Logan or Logan Paul, whatever his name is. Has any of this really hurt them? No, probably not. It's probably not going to hurt them in any ways. All those lawsuits and all the stuff going on. So this is really what we're going to get into. Where's Solana going to go from here? And if you kind of look at Solana, I mean, it bounced really hard off about 109, 110 down here. If it's such a fraud and scam and all this like everyone else claiming, well, it probably wouldn't have done that. It would have just gone to a free fall. The fact of the matter is a lot of people rely on Solana now. It is a whole universe. It is an ecosystem. And I don't think Solana is going anywhere, to be frank. It is kind of moving itself up into that blue chip level. It is kind of not blue chip like Ethereum and Bitcoin level yet, but that's where it is trying to go. Should it go there is the other question. Should we allow it to go there? Will the crypto community embrace it? Now, what you've seen happen a couple of times is it actually dump all the way down, down to these levels, right? You've seen it dump, uh, where is it going? About 120s each time. This time it went a little bit lower. Uh, which is actually very, 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 very scary. It went about 109 this time, uh, 110, 109. Now, this is a thing to remember. This dropped about 40% off the top and it came right back, roaring back. A lot of other tokens fell this much and they haven't recovered this much. So Solana is recovering. Now, what is causing also this panic? First of all, before I even get into that, there's some drama in the Solana network that we really need to look at because today was a crazy day, okay? This guy right here, Crypto Lore, posted this. Solana founder, can't say his name, but they call him Tali, promoted RTR scam and then deleted this post. So the drama gets more. And yes, Tali is a co-founder of Solana Labs, award-winning phone creator, uh, not financial advice. Don't trust me. <laughs> you know, when somebody puts don't trust me in their... Um, why are we not following him? Let's give him a follow. Um, mostly technical gibberish. When someone says don't trust me in their profile, maybe take them for their word. Just saying. But why would someone at a co-founder of Solana Lab say don't trust me? That is where I have a little bit more problems than him shilling a shit coin or a meme token. So this meme token, R2R, which is this one, RTR, Restore the Republic. Uh, people are calling it a scam. Now, is it really a scam? Like this definition of in crypto, everything that goes down, which is pretty much 99.99999% of everything is called a scam. Okay. No, it's not a scam. Most likely it's not a scam. It's just a normal meme coin and meme coins the way they're set up really can't be scams unless they do a rug pull. And this one still has $8.3 million of liquidity. It's not a scam. It has tons of liquidity, tons. Now, it went all the way up to here, I think, a couple hundred million dollar market cap. It's actually made a huge comeback. I actually started watching it down here and it started to really rip. Uh, if anything, people could have made some nice money on it on the way up. It's over 2x from just down here. Um, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. And then some of the comments I see, I put my life savings in there. Dude, if you put your life savings in a token like this, okay, you kind of deserve to lose it, okay? Like, what are you thinking, first of all? If you think you're going to make millions of dollars overnight and you lose it all, well, that's on you. That's not on the team here. That's on you, okay? So this is the insanity 
that is out here in Solana land, right? Okay, so let's let's dig a little bit deeper. Uh, this guy is getting called out. By the way, not the first time either, uh, but he's getting called out. And then you got other people like this. Uh, <laughs> you know, he deleted this post, which was obvious scam. Is it an obvious scam? It's still got $8 million of liquidity by Solana Cabala scam influencers. Yes, there is a whole world out here on X, formerly known as Twitter, that the Solana guys run. And if you follow them, I don't follow them. I know who they are. And the reason I don't follow them is because they basically shill shit coins all day long and meme tokens. And that's because they take a portion of it up front and then they shill it. Okay. And they make millions of dollars. The, the biggest, the, the way people make money, the biggest influencers are actually on Twitter. And the way they make money is they take a, anywhere between a 1% to a 3% position in these tokens before they launch. Sometimes it's their own tokens. They don't even tell the community. They tell their inf everyone. They spread their influence. It's the next big thing since sliced bread and boom, goes up to $3 million, $5 million, $10 million market cap. They start selling and dumping on their communities and it goes all the way down and then they get out. If it was a stock, that would be illegal. But because it is crypto and nobody gives a shit and it's not regulated, and it's a meme coin, it's a commodity, it has no value whatsoever, intrinsic value whatsoever, as 99.9% .9 of most cryptos do not, would not be a security. So this is what ends up happening. And there's nowhere to go to complain. And these guys are complaining. I'm actually not sure why, because they just didn't make money. I mean, someone made money. I'm sure the people that made money aren't complaining. I I mean, look at this rip. Someone made money, right? Most likely the influencers. Influencers make the most money in all these cases. But this isn't a rug in my opinion. Liquidity pool is gigantic. Volume is gigantic. It is what it is. It looks like a standard meme coin to me. That's it. It's a standard fucking meme coin. I don't know what these people are mad about. I don't understand it. It is what it is. Now, let's continue. All right. So you got these guys. Uh, I lost respect for you, Tali. The ticker was RTR. The deployer was sus. All right, man. As fuck, he didn't even care. Just retweeted for more volume. Idiot. Well, why Why should he care? He did say, don't trust me. <laughs> like, it's not his job to do your research. You know, he might have got 1% of it. Who knows? It's not his job. But this is troubling. Oh, yeah. Tali has done this before, too. No shit. He's saying, don't trust me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, these people, man. These people. DD. DD needs to do better. DD. He needs to do better due, due, due diligence. Like, DD ain't doing it. And then the scams just continue. Scam announcement. Smoke token is a scam project. No shit. Look at what. <laughs> Look at the picture. What you think it was? Oh my god! They've deleted all their Twitter posts. Many people sent Solana to their address and received nothing. Why? Why would you send it to a Solana address? Why? For the love of God! Why are you sending these people your money? It just blows my mind. Solana people are crazy. The people that are in the Solana network, yeah. Every once in a while, you hit a big one, you'll get a twenty x or thirty x or fifty x, or and then they try to get that rush back, and that rush keeps going and going and going and going until it crashes and burns, and they put their money in something called smoke. Smoke. Think about it. Up in smoke. If there was a rug, if there was a project named Rug, would you invest in it? No, but you invested in smoke, guys. We've got to go back to the last bull run where people were naming stuff, literally rug finance and stuff like that. And people were still investing in it. And then they would rug you in and be like, oh, I got rugged. But it was called rug finance. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then they will blame everyone else but themselves for their level of stupidity. It just And it just continues. Solana is a scam shorted with size. Send this Ponzi to zero. We're going to talk about is Solana a Ponzi. It is actually very interesting. Uh, the tokenomics on it are actually very interesting. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Uh, Dex is now officially properly insane narrative. Da, 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 scam cabal. <laughs> Group steals our image and logo. Time to restore the response. Oh, okay. So another, okay. So our, uh, our, 
uh, RTR, Restore the Republic, when they come out, other projects try to basically make lookalikes to scam the, the other people, basically. So that's what's going on. I don't even know if this R2R is the correct one. Um, I mean, it, it might be. I, I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. R2R. Um, I, I have to look at the actual contract address. You can see there's a whole different bunch of them uh these are probably some of these are fake ones some of these are real ones they've all dumped so it doesn't really matter and the irony of it is a couple of them are actually pumping uh at the same time this one is not but i don't know which one's real or not and it honestly doesn't make a difference i'm not gonna buy this junk neither should you by the way um but it is it is it is uh it is solana welcome to solana now uh, and then you got Zach uh, XBT probably getting into uh, more of the scams. I mean, it goes on and on. The whole Solana, um, <laughs> Solana is the scammer chain. Made it too easy to scam. Don't even need dev skills. Yeah, that's true. You don't. You don't even need a dev. It's just you. You launch your own token. You get a couple influencers behind you. You blow it up, and boom, you made a bunch of money. You can just dump on everyone and pull or do, do a rug pull. And is a rug pull if you own the tokens? technically illegal pump and dump or whatever you want to call it i don't know if you own the tokens right the, the team decides they want they want to get out is it i don't know like a lot of the stuff people are complaining about you probably shouldn't be in the space this isn't really a space that that that's going to cater to your complaints people just move on that's just really what happens in crypto now let's get into oh my god another solana scam shield by insider cabal <laughs> non-stop guys like the whole solana world is just insanity the insider cabal oh my god smoke solana blocked me because i had the nerve to tell them that their math is off no shit man come on man all right oh it's fun though isn't it now this guy i don't know man i i would think somebody who's part of solana laps would have a little bit more um morals you could call it maybe but he is saying don't trust me so you know he he's he's telling people now the r2r thing was also addressed by uh don jr who said um basically we had nothing to do with r2r because a lot of people thought restore the public was going to be the trump coin that is not it either uh no i faded you in tactics uh what's this we lost our entire life savings thanks john jr if you lost your entire savings in this uh yeah man you're you're you should stop investing just stop completely stop so let's get into solano what is it is it a ponzi is it worth investing has he, this man db crypto completely exposed them a lot of this stuff was actually known uh i don't necessarily believe he's exposed them he's he's actually put it into words a lot of the stuff it's actually good someone has actually gone through it one by one by one and kind of broken it and he's going through all the different stuff and he's going through what other um, YouTubers and it is kind of the meme coin chain. But let's look at just statistics, real numbers and real tokenomics to really understand where is Solana potentially going? Is it the scam chain? Is it even worth looking at? Now, the biggest problem that I have with Solana is that it has huge inflation over the years. And you can see back here in 2020. One and DB Crypto actually talks about this when it first originally started. They were only supposed to have about uh, eight million tokens, and then it came out with twenty million tokens, and then they made up a whole bunch of BS to cover their asses, and then launched it with about twenty-four million tokens or so. It looks like now this is where it gets interesting. Look around two thousand twenty-one January. It goes from literally where is this seventy-four million tokens to four hundred and forty-one million tokens? All of this basically opens up all these strategic rounds. Everything unlocks basically. So this was, you know, when the price of Solana was going down, when it was pumping, and when it started coming down, you know, a lot of people were saying, "Well, this is because of the whole FTX and connection to FTX." I don't know how much of it had to do with that necessarily, and how much it had to do with just all a lot of these tokens were unlocking and being dumped onto the general public. That's something people don't talk about. But the facts of the matter is the tokenomics of Solana, if you look here, are absolutely horrific. And it is still gaining. If you look, if you go to, let's say, 2022, you had 477 million tokens. And we're already over 500 million, it says. Let's look at it here. Uh, total supply. Well, over here, it's it's a, uh, numbers are a little off on both of these, aren't they? 
let's see, circuit. Okay, so circulating supply. Circulating supply here, it says it's 466. So this could be wrong, but this is actually coming from Solana's main net. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe those people haven't sold. Maybe it hasn't hit the circulating supply. That's the issue, right? But there is a lot of tokens that are coming into the Solana ecosystem on a daily basis. And where you can find that data is right here. Token terminal, you can kind of get a better idea. And I actually have a guy in my group. We've actually had a lot of conversations. I have a Discord if you guys want to join. Uh, we do talk about these things. It is free for now uh, to join my Discord. Um, I will actually be doing some stuff with another Discord who is a master stock trader. And I'm going to actually start doing a stock show with him because he is a master. And I think we can learn a lot from this gentleman. And he's his Discord will be a paid Discord. Uh, but... He's also in my Discord. Maybe you can get around and talk to him if you ever wanted to. So there's a lot of well-known people in my in my Discord from the crypto world, basically. So his is more of the stock world, but he knows his stuff, man. But anyways, um, when you're looking at the earnings of Solana, basically with the number of tokens that they're releasing into the ecosystem every month, they're negative $339 million, at least the last 30 days. This is pretty bad. So meaning there's about over 3.6, maybe up to $4 billion a year of inflation. So there is inflation in the system. Now, during a bull market, having inflation in the system is probably not the end of the world. But when the bear market comes is where you got to watch out. And it's not always going to be a bull market. And when you look at Solana down here, you can see the unlocks. They are coming, you know, over a million tokens here a month. Every month is happening. Um, there's another website I use. I believe it's called unlock something. I'll, I'll, I'll check that out too. I like to double check all my data. Um, and you can see some of it's a team. Some is a foundation. Uh, this one has 2 million. So literally every month, something, whether it's one or 2 million tokens is being unloaded. Okay. Now that's a lot of money because you're talking about a lot of value. Now, these values are wrong here. It says here it's a value is 18 million. I don't know where they're getting the value from that uh, 1.3 million tokens. This is why you got to go check the data. We got to look at some other places. That's actually $180 million. Uh, not, I think they're missing a zero. I don't think this is being calculated correctly. Uh, 1.3 million tokens. Oh, every 1 million tokens is worth about $160 million. So this one, it says, the value is only 31 million. This one says it's 15 million for the same amount. So I don't think the value is being calculated correctly in here, but let's just say there's over hundred million dollars, 180 to $200 million worth of tokens being just issued month after month after month after month. And then there's other staking rewards and stuff. And that's where you get the situation where you're negative $339 million every month it's kind of scary but you know given the valuation of solana it's probably not totally scary because the valuation of solana is obviously pretty robust you're almost hitting a hundred billion dollar market cap so you know even if you have to absorb three or four hundred million dollars worth of tokens a month it's not the end of the world but there are article there are people that db crypto also did cover um that there are guys uh vcs that own a lot of solana that are basically ready to dump it when their vesting is over they're just going to start just dumping it dumping it dumping it and they've even talked about it on their chats that i'm trying to find the area but i guess you can go check his video out um and and you know that's kind of scary you know do, do i does that give me confidence in solana no it personally doesn't. At these levels, I'm not buying it. Do I think Solana is going to go higher during this bull run? I do because they have a great narrative. They have great marketing. They tell everyone they're the fastest and the best when realistically they're not. It's built on a house of cards. That house of cards is all these meme coins by all these shitty people. I can't even call them devs because you don't need a dev anymore. You just you go to pump fun and you just launch a token and get some marketing you go i mean it's just you know is is that a sustainable business probably not at some point this whole meme craze on solana is going to come to an end it's kind of like it's kind of like a you know playing a game of musical chairs eventually more of those chairs get pulled from under you and eventually no one gives a shit that is going to happen when is that going to happen don't know 
but it is going to happen at some point. That's just the way things go. Now, when we look a little bit deeper into Solana, uh, we can also look at its revenues and we can do it compared to other chains and other projects, actually. So its revenues are relatively good. It's It burns about half its token fees. So it's burning about almost a million dollars a day. So it's it doesn't quite have enough burn to cover what amount of tokens it's printing. That's the biggest problem with Solana, right? Uh, but neither do most chains. And as you can see right here is the infinity sign. So it keeps adding and adding and adding and adding more to the supply. The problem here is uh, if you look at these things over a long period of time, and most people in crypto don't really think long periods of time, and that's part of the problem. That's why a lot of crypto projects like Solana can get away with this. And the amount of tokens that will be in the ecosystem will go from, you know, it says 580 million one day you're going to wake up it'll be 700 million 800 million maybe a billion and now what do you think the value of what you're holding is well you got to figure out how to maximize your value you got to always stake it or make sure you're getting some sort of rewards for it because if you're not you're basically losing value over time and by the way this is not intrinsic just to solana a lot of other ecosystems have this problem and even with all of these problems all these issues even with Solana technically being exposed, which I don't think there was that much to expose. I think Solana is just sometimes projects get lucky. Mr. DB Crypto did a good job of covering it. But one thing he didn't say is these guys, they got lucky. They had great backing. They had a great narrative. They had great marketing. The meme coin craze catch on. Sometimes you get lucky in life. Sometimes things happen and you get lucky. Solana said they had the best tech. No, they said they're the fastest. No, they're none of those things. I mean, ICP is better than it in multitude of ways. Oh, one thing ICP is not as good as Solana is it's not easy on ICP to launch projects. Inter internet computer is a really hard, uh, it's a lot harder to launch projects. It's not like clicking a couple buttons and you're going live and liquidity isn't there. So Solana has made it easy. And sometimes it's the simple things on a project like Solana that sets it apart. But what you're also seeing is a is a token that can go from, uh, you know, go to $180 and then go to $110. You're not really seeing that with the other what I call blue chips. You're not seeing that necessarily that 40% dip on Bitcoin or Ethereum. Ethereum actually did take quite a dip recently, but it still wasn't quite that 40%. Solana took a much larger dip, but it also came back quicker. So it's actually very interesting to watch how these things work. BNB has been incredibly stable, but also BNB CZ owns like something over 60% of the circulating supply. So BNB doesn't have much. And BNB has great tokenomics, basically. Opposite of Solana, opposite of Ethereum, opposite of Bitcoin. BNB is actually losing tokens every month. So, you know, you, you, you start to look at all these and you start to see which ones have the long-term potential, have the best tokenomics. And Solana is not it. But it's not the most offensive one. I think AVAX is pretty offensive. Polkadot is pretty offensive. Chainlink is pretty offensive. XRP is pretty offensive. They're uh, inflate by 10% or more a year. And that's why Polkadot hasn't gone anywhere. And they don't have the same ecosystem and the same strength. I mean, they're adding 10% more tokens a year to Polkadot. And people are wondering why it's not going up. Why should it go up? Why would you buy something that's going to, uh, you know, why would you hold on to something that's going to have 10% more of it every single year? I mean, if you would have bought Polkadot during the bear market, I mean, it looks like you're even. Isn't that, isn't that sad? Maybe change your tokenomics. And that's what worries me also also about solana that's actually what worries me also about solana uh, because you should change your tokenomics or make adjustments to it make it better you are now a 75 billion dollar market cap project you're huge maybe it's time to make it better have you been exposed i don't think so i think a lot of this was knowledge that people knew i don't think it helps having people uh call you out like this i don't think it helps having people you know, show all the red flags. I don't think it helps having a, a, a co-founder say, don't trust me. I don't think it helps when, you know, you go to anywhere and you say, see some of the biggest people, your biggest backers were people like Sam Bank-Fried. 
I don't think it helps, but has it been exposed? I think it's been exposed a long time ago. I think the situation with it is going to get worse. I think eventually long time Solana will lose its might and its grip on these meme coins because eventually meme coins will go away. And then what has Solana got? So that's my major concern. Solana will be a token that I will be looking at during this bull run as we get going going into alt season, which will probably start sometime in 2025. It will probably go up higher. And it is a token I will be shorting heavily. I don't know how high it goes. Some people are calling for 600. I hope it goes to 600. I don't know if it will. Um, I mean, 600 is about a 4X from here. Is it worth buying this or Bitcoin? People are calling for 150 to 200. That's also almost a 4X. If you can get 4X on Bitcoin, why wouldn't you buy that over Solana? You know, and then where people are saying Ethereum is going to go to 10,000. Well, it's only at, I mean, that's actually the most realistic number. Uh, it's only at $2,600. It's $2,500. It's only a 4X also. So the, what, you, what they're trying to say is everything's going to do a 4X. You know, some people are saying Solana is going to go over 1,000. Well, great. Can't wait to short it at over a thousand. Let me tell you, that would be a good day because at over a thousand, that's market cap would be absolutely insane for a chain that is basically running the meme network for everyone. I think it would be an insane valuation. You're talking about a valuation coming close, being around. I mean, my goodness, you're talking about a valuation at a thousand dollars, guys. The valuation at a thousand dollars would be insane. You're talking about five hundred and eighty billion dollars, half a trillion dollars. You really think that chain's worth that much? With a bunch of meme coins, barely any DeFi. Nobody does DeFi projects on it. That's what makes Ethereum what it is. Now let's let's talk about these meme coins. What do they do for Solana? Well, they do take all the Solana, and you can see it right here. Like for example, on R2R, they do pair it with the Solana coin pulled Solana 3.6 million. So they kind of take that Solana out of circulation, right? And that's what made Ethereum so big after a while because all that Ethereum might have gone to those liquidity pools. So these liquidity pools start storing all of the Solana. But over time, what ends up happening, and I'm sure it's already kind of happened, is it doesn't really matter how many more meme coins you have launching, okay? The, those pools just keep getting distributed, redistributed, some rug, some go away, some go this way, that way, that way. So it doesn't really make a difference. After a while, you, that lock Solana is going to slowly release back into the ecosystem, especially during a bear market. It just comes <laughs> flushing out because everyone wants out. And that's what ends up happening. And then those people start selling it. And then you have a whole panic run. So yes, on the short term, it's really good. It's really great what's happening on Solana. But in the long term, I, I'm not so sure. And I still don't believe they've been exposed. I think I might have exposed this guy a little bit because I don't think he's been called out. Why do you have don't trust me in here? It says ask Gronk. <laughs> I think we know why we shouldn't trust him. But like, listen, maybe he's just trying to cover his ass. Maybe he's just trying to say, hey, listen, not everything I come up with is great. Maybe he's trying to just help the ecosystem of... Uh, um, Solana, but also like when, when you have this much influence, you should probably be a little bit more careful. Uh, obviously people are looking up to him. His posts get a lot of interaction, 75,000, 14,000 views. I mean, 3,000, 9,000, 19,000. I mean, he gets a lot of views. Yeah. Look at this 13,000 views. He gets a lot of views. So, uh, he's probably got to be a little bit more careful, but anyways, uh, that's my take on Solana. I don't think it's the end of the world for them. I still think they're going to do good. I am going to be looking at it long term as a way to make money on it on the way down because I do believe it will, along with many other tokens on the long term, will be heading to a very steep sell off after this bull run is over with. Some people think we're going to go into a super cycle. I don't think so. I think when you hit these kind of valuations, five, six hundred billion dollars, I think some messy things can happen and they always have. Anyway, guys, best of luck out there. Talk to you later. Bye bye.